Hey everyone, welcome back. Today's video is going to be about infection control. For the sake of this video today, I just got finished cutting a client. These are some of the products that we're going to be using. We got my bleach solution, 5% bleach, 95% water. We got my marver side, or you like to say barber side, same thing. Uh, I got some already pre-mixed, -pre -pre 10% uh, solution, 90% water. And also I got my detergent. So before we do anything, we got to make sure safety's first. I got my safety goggles and I also got my gloves. So like I said in the beginning, for the purpose of this video, we are, we just finished the client. So I just finished the client. With all the craziness going on around the world, today we got all the viruses out there, all the head lice, everything. So this is gonna be standard procedure in the barber shop. Every barber should be doing this as standard procedure. This is the bare minimum, you could be doing more. This is just the bare minimum, you could be doing more. Things we're gonna go over in this video is just the bare minimum, we're setting the standard. We all can add more to it. So feel free, if you wanna add more, and more share like and comments below after this video so let me get started i just got finished the client got all my tools on my workstation for the purpose of this video these are clean tiles but we know as professional barbers all clean tiles need to be in the bin covered we know this i just got finished the client this is my station again so now hey i need to clean all this up right now the new norm is going to be 15 to 20 minutes between the client. That's fine. A client, rather you be clean instead of be dirty and infecting a whole barbershop and maybe infecting them as well. So, without any further ado, I just got finished the barbershop. First thing I need to do, I like to have a tent brush around. On my station, I like to have a tent brush. And a tent brush kind of just help me get all any loose hairs off, off, off any clippers or anything. Any loose hairs. I kind of clean everything up, any loose hairs off my brushes, anything. Also, I like to take my brush, make sure I get all that dirt out of my brush here. I'm going to sit those down so you can really see. I get in that brush, go back and forth, get all any loose particles at the bottom, take a comb and scrape it through. So after, for the sake of the video, after I wipe, I, I knocked all the loose hair off these things here. All the loose hair off that I can, I knocked all the loose hair off. For the sake of the video, I'm gonna put these here in my soap and water solution. For the sake of the barbershop, you can do this around your sink area, your wet area, and your salon or the barbershop. Uh, you can also get portable tables. As you see here, I got a portable table where I just brought these things to me. This is easy stuff you should have in every barbershop. Uh, I didn't go out and spend a lot of money here. This is, it. This is household common products. I'm gonna put that in my soap and water. All non-metal things. You see I put my pick in there, it's fine. Um, but I'm not gonna put my shears or my clippers in the soap and water. And right here I just let it sit and I wash it real good. I wash it real good. As I sit there and let that wash real good, I'm gonna grab one of my clean towels. I always have my clean towel here and I kind of put it here in my area to kind of dry off thing here. So I got my clean towel. I wash my combs really well. In my soap and water, I wash my combs. And while washing my combs, I'm trying to remove all the dirt and hair in between the teeth, in between my teeth, right? And then some of this hair be stubborn, right? Some of this hair is stubborn. And so I take the brush, I already got a brush in here with it, and I just scrub in between them combs. I make sure I scrub in between there. I scrub all those teeth in there really good. Try not to dis cover, get my disinfectant contaminated. So. And maybe I should have done this a little bit earlier, earlier, but you don't want to contaminate your disinfectant. You can keep that covered at the time. But you see, I did not push it or close it. So boom, I'm just sitting there scrubbing my combs. I'm going to get all that loose grime off. Boom. All that loose grime. We're just doing soap and water. This is fine. For a little bit splash on you, this is okay. It's okay. Just get you a towel. Get you a towel. Just wipe it off. Wipe it off. This towel here is not dirty. I used to wipe my skin off. So I'm going to put it in the soil towel. The soil towel bin. I'm gonna put it in the soil towel bin. Once that sit for about five, 10 minutes, I let that sit there and I clean that off. I'm gonna remove everything out of here. It's nice and clean. It's nice and clean. 
I'm gonna put it here, then I'm gonna drop it in my clean water solution. In my clean water solution, and again, it's just purpose of the video, we get all that soap and, and, and water off. We get all that soap and water, so why you do that? I did that because I do not want to contaminate my disinfected solution. For the sake of this video, on Barber's side here, it's already pre-mixed. 10% water, 90%, I mean, 90, 10% solution, 90% water. I let that sit for 10 minutes. Let that sit for 10 minutes. And while that's sitting for 10 minutes, I'm gonna come over and take care of my other tools here. Take care of my other tools. Again, get my tip brush here. Get all the loose hair off my clippers. Make sure I unplug my clippers at the time. That's fine. And there's many ways you can do this. You can do this on, you can do this off. I'm just gonna show you an easy way to do it. The easy way to do it. Some more plastic tubes here. It ain't gotta be done in any certain order. Um, only, only thing that's got to be done in the right order is soap and water, clean water, disinfectant for 10 minutes. And you notice how my metal blades, a lot of barbers use these, so I slide them off to the side. I'm getting all this, I'm getting all this loose hair out the blade. All this loose hair out the blade. Back of the blade, slide it to the other side, same thing. Make sure I slide it to the both sides, same thing. And yes, you said, well, this is a lot to do between clients. It is a lot, but you want to be safe to get sorry. Safe to sorry. Also, the shavers is very popular. All that, all that loose hair on my teeth right there. All that loose hair. The tip brush is great. I found that to be great inside as well. I found the tip brush to be great. My razor, sake of this video, we just got done with the client, razor was in. Make sure I dispose of my razor. Dispose of my razor. Boom, this razor here. Wipe the dirt off, it's fine. You can go in my soap and water. My hair clips. You see, all things that that's not really gonna be affected by soap and water, you see I'm just placing the soap and water. You notice I did not put any of my, my high dollar value tubes or any of my electrical tubes inside the soap and water. Again, this is one of my primary cleaning tubes, right? Make sure this thing's clean here. Drop it in the soap and water. I can't clean with a dirty brush, right? Let that clean right there, that's sitting for 10 minutes right there. Wipe it around, make sure I got all the hair off. That's good here, my soap and water. Boom, I got that nice and clean. Sit it down here. Once I sit it down here. Once I sit it down there. Put in my clean water. And I kinda, any, if, if you, you know, if you've been cutting hair a long time, sometimes that oil and grind gets stuck on your blade. Take your time, wipe it off. I'm using my fingers, just rub it off real good. Again, put it on my towel. I wanna make sure I put on my goggles, safety's first. Uh, always make sure you put on your goggles. Again, for the sake of this video, for the sake of this video, just add these, dry these things off. For the sake of the video, I'm just putting everything inside. For the sake of the video, I did everything at the same time. It's 10 minutes, let me sit there and sit, boom. And everyone got phones, uh, 10 to 15 minutes. 
depending on what the product say. The product that I'm using says 10 minutes. Um, you can let it sit a little bit longer. No, no longer than 15 minutes. You let it sit any longer, start breaking down the material, start breaking the comb, start breaking down the rubber, then all your equipment is not gonna be usable anymore. So once that's sitting there sitting, right? So there's another thing I like to do here, I like to do here, um, and I like to do it with my cool care. I like to do it with my cool care. And this here is one that I can do with my clippers on. I can do it with my clippers on. So I'm gonna plug my clippers back in. I'm gonna plug my clippers back in. And so, so, so what I like to do here is clean with, with disinfectant. We're in the state of California, so this is fine. Cleaning with the cool care is fine. Again, I already knocked the loose hair off. All my tools is over there, my disinfectant. I'm gonna cut my clippers on here, and I'm gonna spray. I'm gonna saturate this while this clipper's on so any loose hair comes out. Saturate it really good. This is a small price. Canada S is probably 10 bucks anywhere. Maybe you get a little cheaper if you buy it in bulk. So, boom. So as I get that done on my tile, you can do this on a clean tile, over sink, anything is fine. Take my tile and kind of dry it off. Once, once I do that, I'm gonna do one clip every, at a time. Once I've done that, once I've done that, I'm gonna go to my next clipper. I'm gonna go to my next clipper. I'm kind of just sitting off to the side here. You notice I kind of wanna, once I sit off to the side here, once I sit off to the side, I wanna make sure it don't fall off my station. I'm gonna do my next clipper. You see I have it leaning to the side. You see it's dripping down there. The Cool Care lubricates. It lubricates and I'm looking at the side. See that noise right there, that's fine. I want to hold it. I want to, I want to, I want to force any hair that's lodged in there. I want to force it out. You see all that hair falling out of there after we brushed it off? See all that hair falling out? I want to shake it. Give it a little, give it a little shake right there. This is fine. That's fine. Let it run a little bit. You can even tab it a little bit. You can tell I like these clippers a lot. Got some hair in there. Wipe it off again. Sit it off to the side. Again here, never let these run too long without a load or without the blade. Again, I let it run and I spray it down as well. I don't need it to run that long without a blade. It's kind of bad for it. We call it a load and that's fine. Boom, sit it off to the side. My shears. Saturate them, I saturate them. Once I get my sear saturated, saturate it. Let them sit. Let them sit. Saturate the blades, move them back and forth. Again, these as well here. I let them run. Saturate them. Make sure I keep it down. If I hold it up, it'll fall back inside. So make sure I keep it down. The cool care fall back inside. Good. Again, I just saturated everything. I saturated everything. 
the sink goes in the goes in the soil linen. Goes in the soil linen. And now, and now where I got my stations, right? The hair particles went all over my stations and went down. You just put those clean tools back on the station. Well, here I got another tile. So now I'm gonna wipe everything out. And for this in here, I'm gonna choose to use my barber side. My barber side. I'm gonna unplug my clippers and I'm gonna wipe my whole station out. And during this process here, I'm just gonna move everything to my left side. And whatever side, right side, doesn't matter. And watch, and watch. This is how I'm gonna do it in the barber shop. I just clean everything. I got that drying over there. I'm gonna clean one side. I'm gonna clean one side. That's clean. Wipe this down here. Make sure this is nice and clean here. It's still my clean towel. I got my disinfectant on it. You may ask, do I got to change my towel each time? You don't. This disinfectant is great for mirrors as well. See, I clean my mirror. It's great for mirrors as well. It's great for mirrors. Again, wipe everything down. Make sure my label's always out. And again, like, make sure, I'm making sure that my towel is saturated. Make sure my towel is saturated. Make sure my towel is saturated. Therefore, I ain't gotta spray. I could spray everything, that's fine. But as long as I got a saturated towel, I'm good. As long as I got a saturated towel, I'm good. Saturated just means wet. Wet with disinfectant, I'm fine. Stay bored, so that's fine. Top, bottom, top, make sure I get any loose hair off. Any loose hair. This is my, this here. I make sure my Sanex in the covered container. It's my Nick powder. Again, that's everything I was using. Remember, I didn't wipe it down at first. So everything I was using, letting it dry, wiping it down. Nice and saturated, my top still nice and saturated. Wipe my clipper body down as well. Boom. Wipe the cord down as well too. Making sure, safety's first, I do not drop my clippers. Put it on the clean side. So I'm putting it on the clean side. I'm putting it on the clean side. Wipe my saturating, wiping it down. Wipe my cord down. Yes, this, this gets wiped down too. They got razors, razors in there, wiping this down as well. Top and bottom, be careful. Be careful, don't cut yourself. So now that I got that side done here, I'm gonna move on to my next side here. Make sure my bottom's closed here. Move to my next side here. Boom, labels out. Make sure I wipe this down. You could if you wanted to. If you wanted to, if you wanted to, you could, you could uh, change tiles. You don't have to. You could change tiles. I like to do one tile. I like to do one tile per cleanup. So if another client come, I'm gonna use a different tile, obviously. So then uh, once I'm done with that, once I got that all nice and done here, once I got that nice and done, get rid of my tile. Sanitize my hands when I touch that soil in it. And then to set my station up how I want it. This is this is this is this is not this is your preference. Uh, you may have more stuff, less stuff. This is just a, a mop station to kind of let you know how we clean, how we clean the station. Clippers are clean, and disinfected. Uh, my blade is back on my clipper here. I'll put my blade back on my clipper. Now, while while, while I'm doing all this here, putting all my tools back together, it's nice and dry. And for the sake of this video here. For the sake of this video, uh, it's been 10 minutes. 
It's been 10 minutes, so just for the sake of the video, I kind of got everything like how I want it. I kind of got it set up here. Got my disinfectant, my aftershave, my water. Everything kind of how I want it. For the sake of this video, everything's good. And I sanitize my hands, see? Sanitize my hands, and I go back to my disinfectant. While I got all those things right there done, make sure I got no trip hazards. Making sure my water truck, go ahead and put my cords back in. That's fine. Um, again, we're on the clock. We got, we got to cut another climb. But in, in real life, you see how fast this went? You see how fast I cleaned my whole station up and went? I got one more thing I need to do. I got one more thing I need to do, and that's fine. That's fine. So boom. So now I got that right there. I'm going to go get one more towel. Give me a second, I'll be right back. I'm going to get two more towels. Give me a second, I'll be right back. Okay, I got my towels now. So, so now it's time to take my implements out of my barber side. Take my implements out of my barber side. So before I take my implements out of my barber side, most of you guys want to follow me over here. Most of all stations going to be labeled. If you should, if you ain't got labels on your stations, you should get labels on your stations or get containers with labels. You notice here, my container, my, my drawer is labeled clean. One drawer is labeled soil. This is a real world barber shop here. This is a real world barber shop. All my tools now, that's clean. I lined it, the drawer with a clean tile. I'm gonna do this right here for each new client. I'm gonna place them in there. Everything is in this drawer now, it's clean and it's fine. Everything's clean, it's ready for my new client. In the state of California, all clean items gotta be in a closed container. Everything is clean, boom, and I closed it. I closed it, everything is clean and ready. Once everything is clean and ready, so now I got it. My, my station is ready for my disinfectant for my other tools. Again, again. I'm gonna get a new towel, soy linen, sanitize my hands, sanitize my hands. Again, it's this real world barbershop. Again, there's many ways you can do this. I thought this would be an easier way to get it done. There's many ways you can do this here. Many ways you can do this here. Again, it's been 10 minutes. See, I got another client coming in. It's been 10 minutes. Take these out here and let them dry. Let them nice and dry. Nice and dry. And take your time. No rush. A client, the clients will appreciate you. Will appreciate you. They will appreciate you actually taking your time and letting these tools dry and keeping them clean. So do not rush. Again, I'm putting it up here. No rush. Letting it dry. Making sure nothing on top of each other, so everything you have the right ample time to dry. Everything looks nice and clean, nice and pretty. That's what we want here. Got my razor here out, comes out in pieces here. Just take your time, get everything some drying airspace. Get everything drying airspace. And then for the sake of the video, so I just fold my towel in half. You ain't gotta fold your towel in half if you have the towel hold, whatever you like, whatever you like. Again, the most important thing here is just giving everything some space. And everything's in space, everything's on my towel. I got on my towel because I do not want everything drenching all over my station. Once I got that right there, drenched all over my station, I got my product. Now I got my product here. I closed back my disinfectant. Again, I can go ahead and discard this disinfectant. Uh, I could let another barber use it as long as it's not contaminated. As long as this disinfectant cross is not contaminated, another barber can use it. So how you know if it's contaminated? Got any uh, floating particles in it, it's contaminated. Um, if it's cloudy, it's contaminated. So, for good practice though now, let's just get some new ones. So now, yet, yeah, I still got my client waiting to be sitting in the chair. I still gotta wait, but I gotta do the most important thing. I gotta sanitize my chair. And how I'm gonna sanitize my chair? Again, in many ways you can do this, I'm gonna choose again. I'm gonna use my barber side here. I have some pre-mix. I found this little small uh, bottle anywhere. Uh, I got it at uh, this actually bottle itself. I got it at local beauty supply, but you can just mix some in a regular bottle, label it. It kills everything. It kills uh, germicide, viruside, and fungicide. Kills everything. And so, again, I'm gonna sanitize my chair. My cape, my cape. Again, since this cape I use for a client, probably now with this what's new, what's going on now, this cape is cheap. It's cheap. I have a few capes for. The, Barbara, just gonna get a new cape. You just gonna get a new cape. Get a new cape. That's fine. We got more capes. So again, 
I'm disinfecting my chair. This is how the chair is gonna be disinfected. All this is safe for the chair. Again, I'm using my barber side or my marble side. I could use my bleach solution. Either one is fine, either one is fine. So again, I got a clean towel. Make sure I remove my headrest. Make sure I remove my headrest. I wanna make sure I spray the back here. Real nice, make sure I remove my headrest. And again, time is money in the barbershop, so speed it up, speed it up, wipe it down. I don't want you taking all day wiping this chair down. I want the client to see that we're efficient. I don't want us to go too fast, but yo, speed it up. Wipe that chair down good. Wipe that chair down good. Let that client know that, hey, we got your safety in, in hand. Anything that you got to touch that you might want to touch with the last client, wipe it down. Wipe it down. Whole chair, wipe it down. Wipe it down. Wipe that chair down. Wipe it down. Wipe it down. Boom, wipe my chair down, wipe the base down. Nice and clean, barber will respect that. Boom, so now, soil linen, remove my gloves. Trash, sanitize my hands. Give me some new gloves. Give me some new gloves. Got a new client coming in my chair. New client coming in my chair. Got me some new gloves. Put my gloves here. The gloves are cheap. Small price to pay to make sure the client's happy. Clients will understand paying a little extra to making sure they're safe. Clients want to make sure them and their family safe. Can't put no price on someone's family. For the sake of this video, everything is dry. Everything is clean. I'm gonna place these implements here in my clean drawer, in my clean drawer. Nice and neat, in my clean drawer. This is just ready for my new client. This is ready for my new client. Next client, that video right there was for infection control. Again, like I said, there's many other things we can do. That's just the basic, that's the standard. Note, some of the things I use in this video, I use Marvicide. I use a bleach solution. It's a great solution to use for, as a disinfectant as well. And also this use makes a base of soap and water. Dish detergent, you can find this right here anywhere. Any of these products you can find anywhere. Mix the chemicals, make sure you're using Safety goggles, brushing those hair particles off with clippers. Those particles, the hair particles, contain germs, funguses, viruses, all that stuff. Make sure you eye protection when you're doing a good deep clean. And also, make sure you change gloves between each client. So remember, take away from this video. Take away from this video. We need to sanitize after each client. We need to disinfect after each client. We need to make sure, we need to make sure that we're protecting the public. We're the only thing between the safety, safety of the public and an outbreak, and an outbreak in the public. So we are the common factor. Make sure we take care of the client, the client will take care of us, and the industry will take care of itself. That's all, folks.